Hello guys. In this video I'm going to upgrade the storage in this uh, HP Pro 3120 to SSD. And basically we will run some tests to see how big of a difference there is between a standard 320 gigabytes hard drive and uh, this uh, SanDisk uh, 120 gigs uh, SSD. First of all, uh, I have installed uh, a program called Boot Racer. It will tell us exactly when Windows finished uh, loading. And then we will do a Crystal Disk Mark uh, test also to see the speed of the hard drive versus the speed of the SSD. Basically, at this point, uh, I am also going to make a new text file where we will store uh, all uh, our values so we can compare them easier at the end of the video. Ok, I am going to shut this down. Ok, it is powered off, powering it on, this should be our base test with the hard drive and the uh, hybrid boot, uh, boot sorry, from Windows 10 enabled. It should be 20-30 seconds, somewhere around there. Okay, 21 seconds. Let me just write this down. HB from hybrid boot. 10 to 21 seconds. Now we will do gigabytes hard drive and the normal boot and we will see the time from that boot in a moment okay we are in power options change what the power buttons do change settings that are currently unavailable turn on uh, fast startup and save changes Basically, at this point, I shut down the computer. I will do this so you, in one go with the video, so you see that I'm not uh, modifying any, anything else. Already, I'm seeing a slow shutdown, or at least I thought it is. Okay, you can see this is way slower with hybrid boot uh, disabled. Way, way, way slower. So, just uh, a heads up, do not disable hybrid boot in Windows 10 because it will slow down your computer drastically.
so yeah this is not the fastest SSD available not the biggest of course but uh, it will be way better than, than a standard hard drive uh, all the computers that I've upgraded to SSDs became way more responsive you do not uh, improve processing power or uh, FPS in gaming with an SSD but you improve load times for everything including games, including uh, web browsers including Windows Startup or any other uh, big programs so yeah go for an SSD in these times there is no reason why you shouldn't have an SSD in your computer ok this is our time with uh, hybrid boot disabled at this point I'm going to stop the video enable it again uh, and then clone this no sorry basically first uh, show you how to install this in the case and then clone this partition to the SSD from the hard drive but actually if I'm thinking uh, personal record because it's not with hybrid boot uh, I'm thinking that actually at this point I should do the crystal disk mark test because uh, I want to do it on the system drive with the system working from that drive I'm going to set a lower uh, uh, size so it will go faster because if you do it on a system drive versus uh, another drive it will not give you the same values so I will do it on this hard drive when it is uh, Windows is running from it and for on the SSD when Windows is running from the SSD so it's better to do this test now so yeah I will run this uh, and show you the values in a second because it will take some time to, to run speed test is finished these are the values but we will compare them again at the end of the video with the ones we get from the SSD so now it's time to install the SSD in I already took it out from uh, its uh, box took out the cable and uh, I will open the case, it has one screw in the back and see where we have some room for this ok guys, I was getting ready to put the SSD in and just realized something this computer basically just uh, has two power cables one for the hard drive and one for the optical drive and uh, I don't want to remove the hard drive I want to add this uh, and keep the, the one already in Basically it has enough uh, SATA ports for that, no problem, but it doesn't have power. This happens with brand computers, they only put cables that they need to connect when selling them and they don't really care about uh, upgrades. And in this computer probably it was not designed to run two hard drives at the same time. But uh, yeah, I don't really care about that, I'm going to go uh, get on its ass and most likely I will split this cable I have this I will cut it connect it uh, put this uh, into the optical drive this one into the original hard drive and uh, the one from the original hard drive into this SSD and if you are thinking that I should take all of this off and put the SSD on top of the hard drive, well that's not a really good idea because uh, SSDs don't like to be close to hard drives because hard drives get really hot the SSD should be as cool as possible so basically uh, this is where uh, double sided tape comes in I will tape it to the bottom of the case just like this so yeah, that will be <laughs> that and uh, yeah, let's continue for the first uh, test just to see that everything is running correctly I will remove the, the power from the optical drive and basically plug it uh, into the SSD after that I will go on to the splitting and other stuff at the end of the video after all the tests are finished ok I've decided to go get on its S before uh, 
cloning the data to the SSD. Basically, I want to have uh, this on. It's easier. I already have uh, a DVD with the software that I need. I don't want to make a USB drive with it. And uh, yeah, basically, this was in the optical drive before. It will be connected to this. I will cut this and the uh, original one from the hard drive will be used in the SSD. And basically I'm going to do this off camera because uh, it will take a little bit of time. Just a quick look at what I'm doing. Basically this is how I'm soldering when I would need three hands. So yeah, just make sure you put your uh, heat shrink on before you solder because uh, yeah, you cannot put it on afterwards. So, let us continue. The wires are all heat shrink now. So let's plug uh, all this uh, in and uh, clone the data. Okay guys, uh, everything is in place. Data is cloned from the hard drive to the SSD. You can see the spliced uh, cables there looking good and uh, yeah let's do this basically when cloning from hard drive to ssd make sure the data is 4k aligned most programs uh, these days know to align data for an ssd but some older ones don't if it's it if it is not 4k aligned the ssd will be really really slow so yeah make sure it is Let's see what we get. As I see it, probably we will be pretty close to the hard drive time. But the image changed exactly when this was happening, so yeah. Okay, 26 seconds. On hybrid boot basically we are uh, five seconds slower than the standard hard drive maybe this SSD is slow in sequential reads that would explain it I don't know we will see that in speed test I made uh, I pinned the control panel to the start bar so I uh, find it faster and now let's do a quick test uh, with uh, fast uh, startup turned off. Okay. Power shutdown. So yeah, that is uh, pretty weird that the SSD was slower in this situation, but yeah, it seems it is. Now let's see what happens when it actually needs to read uh, lots of random files to boot Windows uh, from scratch, like like when you would do a restart. Fast uh, startup only works for shutdown. For a restart, it doesn't work. Okay, we're in. This was previously well over a minute. I'm thinking this is faster. Yeah. It is faster, but we are not completely loaded. Okay, still going. What time do we have? 43 seconds. Okay. This should be way better. Personal record, yay. So before, uh, yeah, basically uh, 43 seconds, before it was 1 minute and 34 seconds. So you can see when reading random files, many of them, an SSD is way, way, way faster. But this particular SSD might not be really fast at uh, random uh, read and writes. 
So, uh, n uh, not at random, at sequential. Sorry, it's a little bit late. So, let's do the speed test and see how we go, what we get. And you will see the results in a moment. Okay, guys, the tests are completed. Speeds are really, really good. Let me see the old ones. Let's put this to a side. Okay. So yeah, even sequential speeds are way, way better. So I have no idea what, why that difference uh, with five uh, seconds slower happens. But yeah, the system I can tell you for sure is way, way more responsive. And uh, yeah, basically I highly recommend you to upgrade to an SSD. And at this point, uh, all I have to do is uh, stick this with double-sided tape, put the fan uh, in its position, close this, and uh, we are done. So we will continue in a moment. This is the double-sided tape. I've put it in two layers because I had to make sure it is uh, above the connectors, so the connectors don't make, make contact first. Uh, this does and uh, yeah basically I will just take the protection off and uh, stick it in place hopefully I will put it uh, at uh, 90 degrees angles and in a good place so let's see how that goes the SSD is uh, in a perfect position it sticks down really 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 well so it will never move from that position and uh, yeah I'll put this uh, in and uh, give it a final quick test. It is finally completed. Everything fit together perfectly. You can see to the left the SSD. This is the original hard drive. And it's running really, really, really well. So I recommend you, you do this upgrade. These are the other specs of the computer. And I'm quite happy with this uh, upgrade so uh, thanks for watching guys uh, ask whatever you need in the comments give this video a like subscribe and uh, see you again next time bye